Adobe Presenter 9 now comes with the ability for you to enable in-context collaboration for your students. What that means is now your students can ask questions, answer them, ask questions to you or their peers just like in the normal classroom. So to fill in that gap, we've introduced an in-course collaboration. Let's see a short demonstration on how you can enable collaboration for your e-learning courses using Adobe Presenter 9. Here's a course I've created using Adobe Presenter 9. And to enable collaboration, I just have to go to Adobe Presenter ribbon and I find this collaboration button. I just have to click this down arrow and it will give me two options. One is manage and the other is dashboard. I just have to go and click manage and it will allow me to sign in using my Adobe ID and password. So let me just uh, key in my credentials. Okay, so here you go and I sign in using my credentials. Now here I get these two things that I have to do. The first thing is that I have to decide whether I want to enable collaboration or not. And then if you I want uh, my module to be set up for analytics, let's switch this button on. So there's a cool button here. Just click it and you can turn on collaboration. And now on your students will be able to collaborate with you while taking your e-learning course so they can talk to you they can ask a question to their peers they can respond to the questions that have been posed by their peers or posed by you or oh, and uh, there's one more interesting piece here you can assign a score here so that this becomes one of the pass criteria for them so now they don't have to just complete the course or get some good scores for their quiz they also have to collaborate and for that you will be assigning some marks if you don't want that to be enabled just leave it as zero but if you want to uh, check what your students are doing and give some scores to them if they collaborate you can easily go and put any value from 0 to 100 over here I will just go with 20 points I just want my students to collaborate a bit and 20 should be good enough for that so I'm adding 20 points here and I just have to give this a module name so I'll just name it as matrix and I will click OK. This will enable collaboration for my course. Here's the course with the collaboration enabled and I have published it on a web server. Let's see how it looks like. When you open the course, you see this uh, small window where you have to give your name and your email ID. And you can see that I had already logged in here before, so it remembers my name and email ID. It also gives you an option to not to notify you on uh, getting some answers to your questions during, during collaboration or people following your questions. So you can check this if you do not need any email notifications. I need them so I will just go with the sign in. So I will click sign in here and it allows me to enter the course. This looks all the same as you have the presenter courses with the sidebar and the bottom bar. The new thing here is this big question mark. This question mark denotes that here now you can ask a question. So when you click this, you're allowed to ask a question or view all the questions. So let me just ask a question here and let's see uh, if I'm able to get an answer. Matrix and a question mark and I click continue. So here you will see that it will list all the questions that are close to the question that I asked. If you feel that this question is what you wanted to ask, just click that and it will allow you to see the answers related to that question. If not, you can go and post your question anyway. So you can go and click post my question and that will appear in the list of questions that were previously there. For a question which is not answered, you will see a blue band. You can see that there is no answer here. So let's go ahead and answer uh, this question. So here's my answer and I post it. So uh, I can easily go ahead and ask questions, answer questions. I can even follow questions. So if you feel that this is a question of your interest, you can just go and click on it and you can follow this question. And then whatever answers are added to this particular question, you will be notified 
for that so it's it's an easy workflow you can ask questions you can answer questions and you can uh, follow questions to get the notifications related to those answers you can even go and like or dislike an answer so you can see that uh, krupesh has answered here as a a refers to a transpose of a matrix a uh, i feel this was helpful so i will just go and say yes so i am liking the answer and for this yes Krupesh will get some score assigned for that. Also, there's one more thing. So if you assign some score to it, you will see that uh, as soon as I'm collaborating, the star starts filling up. So you can see that there is the star and right now it's a little filled up. So let me just do some more activity here. Let me go ahead and answer uh, to some of the questions. So this is my answer and I post it. Let me just ask a couple of more questions. Um, do you find this workflow useful okay i ask this question and continue it and there are no similar questions i post it and now when you go and check it out you will find that the star starts filling up and when i have collaborated enough this star will be full of gold i hope you like this new feature in adobe presenter 9 and would be keen to incorporate collaboration inside your course thanks for watching this video